Origin of the World was commissioned by an Ottoman diplomat, Halil Serif Pasha, as an addition to his personal erotic painting collection. He actually commissioned this painting as well, which was done by Jean-Auguste Dominique Angres, who infamously painted this hot Madonna. And I say infamous because this painting is super epic, just like most works depicting the Madonna and Child, but apparently the critics were not impressed. The writer Stendhal, who saw this painting at the Salon in 1824, wrote, quote, In my opinion, it is a very dry piece of work. Madonna is beautiful enough, but it is a physical kind of beauty, incompatible with the idea of divinity. The child Jesus, who, although is very well drawn, could not possibly be less divine, unquote. I just think it's funny how this tradition of artistic shade has existed for so long, even for really impressive works like this one. But back to the origin. This painting is certainly not the first or the only piece of erotic art that's hanging in Musée d'Orsay, but it still causes an uproar even among art historians who have analyzed this painting a million times over. Courbet, along with his peer Edouard Manet, were arguably two of the most controversial slash influential artists of 19th century Europe who challenged how nude bodies were displayed in art, especially because it was a time when artists were still pretty much bound by canonical rules on what type of art to make and how to make it. And speaking of Manet, his infamous work Olympia may not be as controversial to us now, but it caused an absolute uproar when it was shown in his time. Olympia is modeled after this painting by Titian, but with all the modesty and coyness stripped out of the subject. Everything in this painting suggested that Olympia was a sex worker, even down to her name. The name Olympia was associated with night workers in Paris at the time, and all the accessories she has on symbolize sensuality. But it wasn't really her nude body that was shocking. It was her gaze. The fact that she was not looking away, stripped out of all demure qualities, was considered to be confrontational, even aggressive. Olympia was also a bit slimmer than the artistic standard at the time, and critic slash art influencer Charles Baudelaire thought that slimness was more indecent than fatness, which added to the vulgarity of this work. Also, the black maid present in the painting wasn't just seen as a juxtaposition of color and contrast. According to author Charles Bernheimer, it most likely would have been seen as, quote, an emblem of the dark, threatening anomalous sexuality lurking under Olympia's hand, unquote. Artist and writer Lorraine O'Grady argued that lore was included by Manet to create an ideological opposition between black and white, good and bad, and it ultimately functions as whiteness to be the only subject of consideration. Everything Nobuyoshi Araki has ever made. Araki has always been a pretty controversial figure throughout his entire career, and his work really blur the lines between art and porn. If you've seen some of his photographs, you'll notice that he seems to have very intimate access, sometimes even relationships with his models. In fact, he's featured himself in many of these spicy photos, and he's even stated that he was able to gain the trust of the people in these circles through sex. This, of course, could be very much an inflated statement because in 2018, a model who posed for him accused him of exploitation and pushing to work without a contract. Araki responded that she has no rights to his photographs, and this brought up the age-old conversation about the power dynamics between the artist and the model. But the question remains, what's the difference between spicy art and straight-up porn? Art as a whole has so many different interpretations, and our understanding of it has evolved so much over time. And in some cases, what was initially labeled as porn is now hanging in our fanciest museums as art for the public to see, and even to study very, very closely. We could break it down by utility or intention, like how porn is usually created to induce spicy thoughts, usually using some form of objectification. Art with nude figures, on the other hand, is usually at least somewhat concerned with aesthetics, and it's not always beautiful, but its purpose is not so much to solely induce spicy thoughts, but usually aims to fulfill an alternative motive as well, such as telling a story, expressing a feeling, or just creating a vibe. 
But ultimately, I think the two will always have some overlap where many of these paintings were originally commissioned as personal spicy content. But over time, cultural shifts in our understanding of sex and changes in our general attitude towards what we think of as quote-unquote tasteful versus spicy has all pushed the boundaries of what we now categorize as art versus what we decide is not worthy enough to be labeled as art yet.